Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at TMD Motorhomes at Withal, which is just south of Birmingham, and I'm going to be reviewing the Adria Coral DL and the Adria Coral DC. I'm very excited to be doing this because, as you know, I love the Adria motorhomes. These are both 2024 models. I'm going to show you internally, externally, and the facts and figures. So Adria Coral, these motorhomes start at £93,000. The ones I'm going to show you today at TMD are very well specced, and I'll go through all the extras as well so you can understand what has been put on. So the full name of the Adria Coral is the Adria Coral 670 Supreme, and then it's either the DC or the DL. These DC and DLs refer to the different internal layouts, which again, I will show you. What we're going to do is we're going to make a start on this. This is the Coral DL. Now, Coral is a three berth motorhome. It comes on the Fiat Decato, although there is a Mercedes Benz option. I will be putting all the links in the description so you can check out the full specifications as well and find out a bit more about it. So the Coral DL, let's say this is on the Fiat Decato. It has the 2.2 litre diesel engine with add blue. This has 140 brake horsepower, and the one at TMD Motorhomes comes with the automatic transmission. Let's start on the exterior. Obviously, we can see it is silver with the black wing mirrors. These are heated and electrically operated. In terms of the size, the Coral is quite a big motorhome. It's 7.48 meters long, it's 2.3 meters wide, and it's 2.9 meters high. And as I say, three berths, but it does have four travel seats, which are seat belted. I've said that prices start at 93,000, which they do. But once you've specced one up like this one, this is going to be just under 107,000. And some of the extras we're getting are that automatic gearbox. We've got the LED headlights here. And as we make our way down the off side, we've got the black alloy wheels here, as we can see. Coming down, we've got the awning, the two-lay black awning running down. Now, this is a little bit different. On the 2024 models, you may remember the previous model of the Corals. It had a slightly different um, electric hookup point. This actually has the electric hookup here in this box. We've also got a television point here as well, which has got some USB chargers. So that's now integrated in there. It has been the last few years, but that's different to the sort of 2020 models and previous, if you remember those. We do get on this one, the electric step. And here we can see the vents for the Thetford tower fridge and freezer. I'll show you those inside. Got our awning light up here and carrying down the offside. I'll let you whiz round here past me and we'll have a look in the garage. Adrias are always well known for the huge garage and the Coral DL is no exception. I'll open the garage door. Now in here you can see the huge garage that this motorhome has. On this one, we are getting a spare wheel as standard. That is not uh, normal on Coral, that's an option. So this coming standard with that. We have got an external shower here, that's hot and cold water. We've then got the 12 volt and we've got a plug socket as well. So if you wanted to charge e-bikes or something like that in the rear garage or use a teppanyaki, something like that to cook outside, you can. So that is the huge garage. It does have lights and it's got a couple of storage um, compartments as well. I'll close that up. Carrying on round the back. So this is the new rear end. Again, this changed when they introduced the new Coral. I think it was 2020 these came out. So you can see the new back end, the LED lights. We've got the Supreme name. You do get the pre-installation for a bike rack if you wanted to fit that. But with the large garage, you could probably put your bikes in there. We're getting the reversing camera. And now this model, as part of the price of the extras that TMD have put on it, we've got roof rails and this additional ladder. There's another bit of ladder that connects here and you can then climb up and you can attach things to the roof if you wanted to take, say, canoes, kayaks, things like that. People do do that in Europe, but not so much here. Now, we have got a tow bar fitted. This is obviously the electrics and the tow ball itself. That isn't standard. That's been fitted by TMD. If you want it to tow with the coral, it will tow up to 2,000 kilos or two tonnes. So you have got that fitted there. Then we'll head off down the near side. So on the near side, we've got another garage door. 
We then here have the toilet cassette point, the gas locker. This will take two 11 kilo gas bottles, so a very generous amount of gas. We've got the Alder vent. We've got Alder wet central heating and hot water. And then we've got our water filling point, so we can fill our water from here. Now, the Coral has a 115 litre fresh water tank and an 85 litre wastewater tank. We've here now got our diesel and add blue filler as well. Now what's on the roof you might want to know. So on the roof of this particular model, we've got a solar panel. We've also got a, an air conditioning unit. We'll see that when we go inside. And this one's also fitted with a heat exchanger. In terms of weight, now we've been around the outside. We can see it's quite a large motorhome. The coral comes in at 3,650 kilos, so you are going to need your C1 to drive it. In terms of payload, the payload starts at 570 kilos, but once you've added extras, and this has got quite a lot of them on it, you're going to reduce that payload. So I always say, take your motor home to a Weybridge and know exactly what your payload is. If 3,650 kilos isn't going to be enough for you, you can always upplate these corals. Right. That's the exterior, let's dive inside and take a look. So as I said before, we do have the electric step. I'll open the door. Now, we've got the window with the blind. I like the little finishing touch here as well with the Adria. We've got the bin. This is a different style to the pre-2020, 2021 model. So we've got the new bin style here. The operation for the electric step is just here as you open the door. So once you open the door, you can operate that and out will come your step. Let's venture in and take a closer look. Now, I will start up here in the cab. This one's brand new, so obviously it's still got the seat covers on, so I'm not taking those off. So up front, we have got a multifunctional steering wheel with the Fiat logo on it. We have got the automatic gearbox, and then we've got various controls here, including the satellite navigation. And this is also where you're going to find the reversing camera when that's activated. We've got various safety features as well on this Fiat. It's got the traction control and various uh, things like that. We've got the USB and 12 volt and several little cup holders here and down here as well. So that's the cab area. I'll let you move back. Now the fabrics, we have got the, the, this is the Mabel option. So we've got a leatherette here with fabric above me. Now this is the bonus of coral. You may be aware that there's coral and matrix and you might wonder what the difference is. So coral is the three birth motorhome. It does not have the drop down bed. The difference with Matrix is Matrix is a four birth motorhome and it does have an electric uh, drop down bed that would be up here. Now, if you are a couple wanting to travel in a motorhome, Coral is probably perfect for you because you get this huge sunroof here, which we can see. They do have blinds as well, so you don't have to worry about that. But then because there's no drop down bed, we get this huge sunroof here as well, letting plenty of light in, gives you loads of headroom and it's a really open space. And that's what I really like about Coral. So once we've moved from the cab area into the habitation, you can see it's all one sort of level flooring. We then have the two bench seats. Now, when I talk about it being a DL or a DC, the D stands for dinette, and that is this seating area. These two bench seats are represented, represented by the D. So that's the seating area. You then get a really good sized table as well on the Adrias. Now this table underneath there's a, a lever, it moves backwards and forwards, you can move that all around. So if you wanted, six people can actually sit in here and eat. So if you were wanting to socialise, you can do that no problem. So that is the large uh, table. Now as I move down, in the coral, we've got a number of little lights uh, underneath. You can move these about. There's various light switches as well. All these overhead lockers, they've got a push mechanism and you can see in there, they're, they're full depth and a good height. I really like the finish on these as well. They're a lovely finish that they're not going to muck up with fingerprints because they're not glossy. So these are a really nice finish as well. And because they are such a light colour, it does make the motorhome feel so much lighter and brighter. 
Now we've got a number of little windows with blinds and we also get fly screens all around as well in the, as in the door. I'll just open a couple of more of the lockers so you can get an idea inside. Very good size. Right, what we'll do is we'll turn around and I'm going to start making my way uh, down here to the habitation door where we came in. So we came in through the door. Again, we've got that fly screen. We then find our control panel. So we've got our Adria controller and we've got the Alder controller for the hot water and the heating. Moving down, there's a plug socket and the television. And then we have this uh, TV bracket pre-installed, some light switches, and then there's just this little drop down cupboard there, if you can just see in there. And then we'll start onto the near side of the Coral DL. And this is where we're going to find the kitchen area. So over here on the kitchen, we've got an extractor fan underneath here. We've got plug sockets, numerous light switches. We've then got the overhead lockers as well. I like these, you press them and they just nicely pop straight open. And same to close them, simple mechanism. We've then got three gas burners. On European motorhomes, it's very standard not to have any uh, hot plates or electric. It's always gas, so three gas burners. The sink, this is a fairly smallish sink, but it is giving way to more worktop space, so you can't win them all. Then we've got this uh, new design tap for the newer models as well. Coming down, we've got the Thetford oven and grill. That's an all-in-one appliance. This is going to be the control center for the gas just under here. We've then got these little push mechanisms, some storage under there. And then we've got the drawers here as well. So this one, push and pull. It's a good amount of uh, space here in the drawers, full uh, length underneath. I'll just show you one more so we can see them. There we go. So that is the kitchen space. What you've got to remember with motorhomes is whilst you might not have as much space on the worktop, you do have the table that you can always use as well. Moving back now, we'll move over to the off side. So we have in here a really good and deep storage cupboard. So you can see in there the amount of um, storage you've got there. And then we've got the Thetford Tower fridge and freezer. 142 litre fridge freezer. These are brilliant. These do run on electric and gas, so it's an absorption fridge. When you're driving, you can put it on auto and it'll go onto your 12 volt system as well. So that's your fridge and freezer. So this is the main sort of habitation part of the Coral DL. What I'll do is I'll now move back here into the next part. So as we move along, on the off side, we've got our shower. I'll step back. So it's a good size shower. We've got the rail here for hanging towels or coats as well on a wet day. A sunroof there as well for light and ventilation. There's that nice back as well, that nice backing there. The um, shower head itself and then these uh, shower doors that are clear. Um, so that is your shower on the off side. Then onto the near side, we've got our washroom. Now there is a door here. I'll just show you this. So when you're wanting to separate these two areas, we can close this and that's going to partition us off. I'll let you move through with me now and just have a look into here. So if I just step up and you come round, you can then venture into the washroom. So in there, we've got our Thetford swivel toilet. We've then got the fruit bowl style sink with the mirror. There's some storage under the sink. And we also have as well a good size cabinet what I'll do is I will just step in and open that so we can see this. There we go. Good sized cabinet there for all your toiletries. And what I always like about these bars is when you're driving, when you get to your next site, all your stuff hasn't fallen forward and drops out the cupboard. Um, because I've had that before, so that is always a good feature. These little extras just finish it off. So that is our washroom. Right. I'll close this, I'll let you dive down, and then we'll look at the bedroom. Right, there we go. So, washroom, shower room. 
Now moving back up here, now this has been fitted by TMD Motorhomes as part of the options on this motorhome. So this is from the factory with the Truma Aventa Comfort air conditioning. Now the Comfort will blow hot and cold air. I've had that myself, it is an excellent air conditioning unit. So that is part of the extras fitted by TMD. Now what I'll do, I'll show you the beds first of all. Now with Coral, this is the DL. The L refers to the longitudinal beds. Some people want to call them twin beds, but they're longitudinal, and that's what the L stands for. Size-wise, really good size. This is the longest one. This is 202 centimetres long, and it's 83 centimetres wide. And this one here is 197 centimetres long and 83 centimetres wide. So pretty much, no matter how tall you are, you are going to fit on these beds. There is also, if you want, this centerpiece here. What you can do, you get this extra cushion, there's a slat under here. You can pull that slat out, fit you an extra cushion, and you can actually convert this into one massive double bed if that's what you wanted to do. So although it's longitudinal beds, they don't call it twin because you could use it as a double. So it's giving you the option. Now, Above here, I'll just go back here, we've got light switches, we've got lights, and we've also got, if I push and open these, several little storage cupboards as well. So various places to put your clothes. You've also got the um, sort of headboard and this little panel there, which I would imagine will illuminate on a night time. I'll close those up. You're also getting another sunroof here. So again, for ventilation and letting light in. And then I will, I'll show you this first of all. In that far corner, you've got some USB charging points that you can maybe just make out up there. So you've got somewhere to charge your gadgets and a nice convenient shelving unit in the DL as well to put your gadgets while you're charging them. Over here on the near side, we've got the um, television point there. So you can install the television in the back of the motorhome. You'll be able to put that on there. And then we've got our light switches here and dimmer switches because we do have dimmers. Moving downwards now, you may wonder where you're going to put all the rest of your clothes. So in here, we've got a really good sized drawer under one of the beds. We've got a further drawer below there. And then what we have here on the near side is a little wardrobe. I'll let you have a look in there. That's your wardrobe space under the bed there. So you can put plenty of more clothing items in there as well. And then I'll just let you back out of there and close that. If you're wanting privacy on a night time as well, there is the sliding door that's here and that's going to slide across to here and it's going to partition off then that area to the bedroom space. So that is the bedroom space on the DL. It is a good area. It's a good space. The beds are big. Um, the, uh, there's plenty of storage for your clothing. Then you've got that nice washroom and shower as well. Let's head back out that way. So just to cover the points there. So the DL has the longitudinal beds. It's got the Dinette lounge, which is a really good size here on the Coral. It's got four travel seats. It's got three berths. And so this one's got plenty of extras as well. What we're going to do next is we're going to dive out and we're going to take a look at the DC and I'll explain a bit more about that outside. Come on, let's go. OK, so Adria Coral DC. So the DC has a different bed in the back, which I'm going to show you. Externally, it's still 7.48 metres long. There's no difference there. Everything's pretty much the same. This one, although they start at 93,000, this one at TMD has had a, quite a few extras put on it, similar to the DL, and it's 101,000. Now, the first difference on the exterior of the DC to the DL is this garage. Now, let me open the garage door. Now, what you'll notice straight away is it's not as high as the DL. If you're wanting to put bikes in here, you can, although what we have to do 
uh, with our uh, DC model that we have is we have to take the front wheel off because it is lower. So that's something to consider is if the height of the garage is important to you, then DL might be better, but you're still getting the external shower, uh, the electric points, the storage, but you don't get the same amount of height. That's one feature I'd just like to point out. Now on the back of this DC, the only difference we're getting here is we haven't got the tow bar fitted like the DL had had a tow bar fitted. You're still getting your reversing camera. This one hasn't got the ladder either because that hasn't had that fitted. So it just gives you an idea of how the back would look without those optional extras. Because obviously if you're wanting to order your own model, it might be of interest to you. Right, let's whiz round. So, the near side again, all the same features as DL, but now we're going to go inside and discover a little bit more about this layout. So come on, let's go inside and have a look. We've still got the electric step. I do like an electric step. There we go. We've still got exactly the same door. And let's venture in. Now DC, as you come in, you may wonder what the difference is. We've got the dinette lounge again because we've got that D. This one has got the nine speed automatic gearbox still. We've got solar on the roof. We've got the reversing camera. This one has not got the air conditioning fitted to it. But if you want to fit air conditioning, you're looking probably at about 2000 to 2200 pounds, depending on the model that you choose. So you can always add some of these features. Right, come on in. So the lounge on the DC is the same. The kitchen is the same and we've still got the same tower fridge and freezer. As I move back, now we have got a little bit of difference. So we'll find here that the shower is still on the off side. The cubicle, we've got this extra space on here. This is great for putting shower gels and bits and pieces uh, when you're using the shower. That's what I do with mine because I've got this layout. So that is the additional shower. The washroom space, I'll show you that on the way back. But this is where the difference comes on the DC. You'll notice we've got an island bed. Now the C re basically refers to the central island bed. So if you see the C on the Adria motorhomes, that's what it's referring to. You're going to get an island bed like this. This is a huge bed. The benefit of the coral is, one, you get a huge bed. It's 195 centimetres long. It's 150 centimetres wide, but it retracts. And that is a real bonus because many motorhomes, you don't get a retractable bed, it's fixed. So when you retract it back, one, you can see it's nicely sat up so you can, you can sit up in bed, but you get the additional space to walk around your bed. And that's really important, especially if you're a bigger person. You don't always realise these things until you've made your purchase. So we're getting this additional space around the bed. And now let me start in this corner. So on the DC, we have a little storage cupboard here where you can put various bits. We then have the dimmer switches here, the TV point here. Again, you can fix a bracket there for television. And then I'll make my way this side. Now, what I like is the fact that you do have plenty of space to put items here. You get a little step up. So I'll step up here and then we're into one of the wardrobes. Now, the wardrobe on each side, so you can see there, as far as I'm aware, they are illuminated as well. Now, if you wanted to fit a television aerial, you can fit one and it would generally come into this wardrobe here. So that's just something to know about. We've got the same overhead lockers. I'll just reach over and give that a press. So you've got your lockers here. And then I will move around again and I'll just show you the other side coming around. So back here again, we've got another wardrobe as well. And you can see in there. And that's where, oh, sorry, if you're just wondering, that's the Alder uh, tank, because I say Alder wet central heating and hot water. That is the bedroom space on the DC. I love the island bed layout, the compromises, you're losing height uh, in the um, garage. I'll just open this and you can have a look in the washroom. As you can see, they're just like the DL that we went in first. Right, I will close the door again. There we go. Right, so this is the internal space of the um, DC. 
let's dive outside and have a little summary about these two motorhomes. So I will see you back out there. So there we have it. That is the Adria Coral Supreme 670 DL and DC. As I say, prices start at 93,000, but realistically, once you've spec'd one up, I'd go in at about 100,000 pounds minimum. These ones based on the Fiat, as I say, you can also get them on Mercedes-Benz. These are stunning motorhomes. They are really well built. They look stunning in the silver. And these have both been specced with plenty of options as well. So they've got everything you're going to need to get you out and about and enjoy your motorhome adventures. I will put a link in the description below to Adria so you can have a full look at yourself and decide what you'd want to put on yours. I'll also put a link to TMD Motorhomes here at Withall because they are a um, dealership for Adria and they have plenty of choice as well. I'd just like to say thank you to TMD Motorhomes who've let us come today and film a review of these two motorhomes. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.